Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. American Comics. The foundation is exposed at the beginning. Driving Avengers Alliance Crazy. Chapter 1. Was the Battle of New York so cruel? The Chitori army is really a good dog for Thanos. It seems that the Avengers Alliance and others will be in trouble now. In the coffee shop next to Stark Industrial Building, Lin Fan sat calmly by the window. At the moment, the entire neighborhood outside was in chaos. As Professor Eric and others opened the space gate and summoned the Chitori army to come to Earth, a battle between Avengers and aliens broke out. Facing the overwhelming Chitori soldiers, everyone in the Avengers Alliance fell into a bitter battle. But this crisis is an opportunity for Lin Fan. An opportunity for him to do something. Ding, the 10 draw reward for the newbie host has been distributed, please check the host for details. A cold system prompt quietly sounded in Lin Fan's ears. Glancing at the system panel, Lin Fan secretly said. 10 consecutive gold withdrawals, one shot into the soul. Is this the system's novice protection? Lin Fan couldn't help but chuckle to himself. Just one day ago, he inexplicably traveled to the Marvel world and obtained the mastermind system. The system's ability, as the name suggests, allows him to become the mastermind behind the scenes and cause trouble. In the process, he can harvest the emotional value of others. This is a systematic transaction currency that can be used to conduct draws at different levels, such as black iron level, bronze level, silver level, and even mythical level, etc. Lin Fan was also lucky enough to win 10 consecutive draws for free for newbies, and he was fascinated by it. Character. Lucy, Supreme Wisdom. Level. Golden Legend. Ability. Cyber Cultivation plus Mechanical Ascension plus One Thought Eternity. Introduction. Coming from the Super Body World, her real name is Lucy. Due to the mutation of human body genes, she transformed into an omnic life, mechanically ascended, and sublimated to the highest level of wisdom. Item. SCP-10086 Mechanical Swarm. Level. Silver level. Ability. Metal devouring plus unlimited reproduction plus flammable and explosive. Introduction. From the SCP Foundation, the containment object numbered 10086 can swallow metal and multiply indefinitely, and is basically harmless. The above are the two high level items that Lin Fan drew. The rest are just miscellaneous. Since we are going to cause trouble, is there any better stage than the Battle of New York? And if the objects are contained? As Lin Fan pondered secretly, he had already made a decision in his heart. He had already thought about how to use these two rewards. Now after thinking about it again, Lin Fan stopped wasting time and ordered directly to the system. System, release the mechanical swarm into the Stark Industrial Building. Ding, rewards are being distributed. The system prompt sounded quietly. And at the moment, a Chitori soldier outside discovered Lin Fan and stepped on the flight machine to kill him. The orders given to these mechanical warriors are to kill and destroy like crazy. This also adheres to the will of Lord Thanos. Now seeing Lin Fan alone, the Chitori soldier raised his laser gun and aimed it directly at Lin Fan's head. Then he pulled the trigger directly, and a laser beam roared out. The air along the way was even burning with ripples. In the eyes of this Chitori soldier, weak earthlings like Lin Fan are destined to be slaughtered by them like pigs and sheep. The laser arrives in an instant, and can hit Lin Fan's head in the next moment and take away Lin Fan's life. But suddenly, the void suddenly became distorted. A big invisible hand popped up quietly, and the laser was directly annihilated invisible. The Chitori soldiers were stunned on the spot. What happened? Almost as soon as he appeared at this age, he suddenly felt a pair of big hands strangling his throat. Then there was just a click, and the Chitori soldier was decapitated. His body was actually made of machinery. Buzz. The space rippled, and a beautiful figure appeared in front of Lin Fan. She saluted Lin Fan respectfully and said. Daisy frightened her master and asked her to atone for her sins. It doesn't matter. Glancing at the corpse on the ground, Lin Fan's eyes flashed with strange color. Chitori soldiers are all mechanical warriors made of metal. And the containment object 10086 mechanical swarm he obtained happened to have the ability to swallow metal, and now his plan was more certain. But with the containment object, the SCP Foundation cannot be absent. Lin Fan murmured, looking at Daisy in front of him. This is a golden legendary figure. 
To be able to incarnate the supreme wisdom of mechanical ascension in an ordinary technological world, Daisy's luck is absolutely unparalleled. The brief attack just now shows how strong Daisy is. I'm afraid that on today's earth, there are absolutely very few people who can defeat Daisy. Thinking of this, Lin Fan said calmly. Daisy, from now on you are the Red Queen and the artificial intelligence of the SCP Foundation. Do you understand? Yes, Master. The Red Queen understands. Meanwhile, Stark Industrial Building. That Loki. Tony Stark looked gloomy as he watched the Chidori soldiers pouring out of the space gate. Captain America and others on the side also felt their hearts sinking to the bottom. Facing such a large number of aliens, even if the Avengers Alliance is dispatched as a whole, it will be insufficient. The space door must be closed. Tony Stark said as he prepared to control the armor and head to the top floor of the Stark Industrial Building. But at the moment, the sky was suddenly covered by a huge shadow. A mechanical creation resembling a hive fell from the sky. Ding. The boundless depths of the universe. A huge warship like a planet was hovering, sailing towards the end of the starry sky at extremely fast speeds. And at the moment in the battleship, Thanos sits at the top. Below, the five obsidian generals stood respectfully. Any news about the gem? Thanos' calm but majestic voice sounded. The body of obsidian five below was shaken, and his soul was trembling, and he became more and more in awe of Thanos. The leader, Corvus Glaive, stood up and said with a look of fear. Lord Chi, Gamora has not been found yet. Keep looking. Thanos said calmly. Corvus Glaive, as if he had been granted amnesty, hurriedly said. Yes, sir. Grown-ups. At the moment, Ebony Ma stood up and said respectfully. There is news from Loki that the Chitori army has arrived in Midgard, and the testing has begun. Oh, so fast. Thanos's calm expression softened slightly. He said with great interest. I never expected that a dignified prince of Asgard would only hate Asgard. How interesting it is. This is God's help, sir. Why worry about failing to achieve your great cause? Ebony Ma flattered her at the right time. Corvus Glaive and others are disdainful, but very envious. Being able to speak means being well received. Taking the first position, Thanos said calmly. Establish remote communication, I want to see the situation in Midgard myself. Yes, sir. Ebony Ma got the order and started operating immediately. Soon a projection appeared in front of everyone. What is displayed on it is the first perspective of the Chitori soldiers and the current war situation on Earth. When they saw the Chitori army killing like crazy, Corvus Glaive and others sneered. Midgardians. They are really weak ants. Thanos watched silently without saying a word. Unlike Corvus Glaive and others, he knows that Midgard is not as simple as it seems. Otherwise, he would not have let Loki lead the Chitori army to test. But at the moment Midgard's hidden strength did not appear. As for the Avengers Alliance, which is desperately resisting, although they have some strength, they can't get into Thanos' speech at all. Tell Loki to increase the intensity and turn it off. Thanos lost interest in watching and waved his hands casually. Ebony Ma also immediately prepared to turn off the projection. But at the moment, the perspective on the screen suddenly darkened, and a huge amount of mechanical hive appeared in the Chidori soldier's perspective. Looking at the huge amounts of hive, Thanos exclaimed. Whose general is this? Is this among the Chidori fleet? This. Ebony Ma and others were speechless. Thanos doesn't care either. Looking at the mechanical hive that suddenly appeared on the screen, he didn't know why, but his attention was attracted. He personally destroyed thousands of races, including many technological planets. But he has never seen a technological style similar to the mechanical hive. This is also the reason why he asked suddenly just now. The sudden appearance of the mechanical hive, whose technological style was completely different from that of thousands of races, immediately made Thanos interested again. Ding! Thanos emotional value plus 1333. At the same time, on Earth. Huge amounts of mechanical hives fell from the sky and hit the Stark Industrial Building, with the smaller part embedded directly into it. It's like a real beehive hanging on a big tree. What is this? Chitori's new weapon. Seeing this mechanical hive that is tens of meters high, the expressions of everyone in the Avengers Alliance changed slightly. Those who had appeared before were Chitori soldiers. 
Although the number of people is huge, they are not invincible, and their destructive power is relatively limited. But the destructive power of such a huge mechanical creation is self-evident. How should they respond at the moment? Ding. Tony Stark's emotional value plus 666. Ding. Captain America's emotional value is plus 666. What Tony Stark and others didn't know was that at the moment not only them, but the Chidori army was also confused. Whose minister is this? Is it newly developed by the scientific research department? The ruler of Chitori asked in a deep voice. But among the subordinates below, no one dared to speak because they had no way of answering. Seeing this, the Chitori king realized that this might be Midgard's secret weapon. He immediately ordered in a deep voice to his subordinates. Passing my order and sending out the Leviathan Beast may not necessarily destroy the Midgard people's secret weapon in one fell swoop. Yes. A kind of subordinate is ready to take action immediately after receiving the order. But suddenly something changes on the screen and reappears. Those who resisted them in Midgard suddenly descended from the sky and attacked the mechanical hive. This immediately confused King Chidori and exclaimed. What are they doing? Ah this. All the subordinates were also dumbfounded. Ding. King Chidori's emotional value plus 233. Not to mention Chidori's reaction. No matter what this is, it must be destroyed as soon as possible. Looking at the mechanical hive, Tony Stark said in a deep voice, directly raised his hand and struck a palm thunder. The energy of the arc reactor is ready to go out, roaring out. The raging energy cannon exploded. But under the watchful eyes of Tony Stark and others, the mechanical hive remained undamaged, not even a drop of paint removed. Why are you still standing there? Some of you can help me. Tony Stark became more and more fearful and quickly urged. But Captain America and others have more hearts than strength. They couldn't fly, so they could only watch the mechanical hive hanging high in the building without even a chance to take action. Get out of the way, let me come. At the moment, Thor from far away shouted and flew over. He was ready to hit the hive with his hammer. Shield headquarters, Tricurve wing building. Inside the director's office. Phil Coulson, what's going on here? What on earth are those huge amounts of mechanical creations? Looking at the satellite image in front of him, Nick Fury's face turned as dark as the bottom of a pot. At the moment he was troubled by the alien thing. I thought that the entire Avengers Alliance would be able to contain the alien invasion, but unexpectedly something happened again. That mechanical creation, which is tens of meters high, is no less impressive than an aerospace carrier. If this was done with full force, wouldn't New York be raised to the ground? Ding, Nick Fury's emotional value is plus 666. I'm sorry, director. Phil Coulson on the other side of the communication, while leading the agent to block the Chitori army, responded awkwardly. Currently we don't know what kind of weapon it is. Ding, Phil Coulson's mood value is plus 555. Quote exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. Hearing this, Nick Fury's brows jumped wildly. He suppressed his anger and said. Where are Tony and the others? They must solve that thing as soon as possible, otherwise the consequences will be disastrous. Mr. Stark and the others have already dispatched. Phil Coulson quickly reported. And Thor, he also went to Stark Industries building. Um. Nick Fury nodded and hung up the communication. He rubbed his swollen brows. Because of the alien invasion incident, he has received hundreds of call requests, all of which were questioning and criticizing him. One of the calls even came from the White House. The law must be resolved as soon as possible, otherwise. Thinking of the content of the call, Nick Fury's dark face turned even darker. Use that ultimate weapon of destruction in New York. What asshole came up with this idea? With tens of millions of lives and billions of wealth involved, aren't those afraid of going to military court? When he thought of this, Nick Fury felt dizzy. He couldn't even resist using his pager. If we could summon that person, we should be able to solve the current crisis, right? But distant water cannot quench near thirst. After some hesitation, Nick Fury finally gave up. After all, this is the last trump card in his hand. Dot. Great, Thor is here. Next to the Stark Industrial Building, Captain America and others were overjoyed to see Thor. They are well aware of Thor's terrifying and destructive power. When Thor was exiled to Earth, he single-handedly destroyed Asgard's war weapon, the Destroyer. 
In SHIELD's assessment, Thor is definitely a humanoid self-propelled nuclear bomb. At the moment Thor's arrival made them relieved. TCH. All the bells and whistles. Seeing Thor being so arrogant, Tony Stark curled his lips in dissatisfaction. He originally didn't like Thor and Loki. If it weren't for Loki, the Chitori army would not have invaded Earth, and Loki bears unshirkable responsibility for this. As for Thor, for people who like to show off, Tony Stark has never had a good impression. Because he doesn't like others to steal his limelight. J-A-R-V-I-S, have you got the results? Tony Stark said minding his own business. I'm sorry, sir. The cold electronic sound of J-A-R-V-I-S sounded. I tried to hack into its network many times, but its internal network has a unique encryption method, and I couldn't succeed at all in a short time. But after analysis, this should be a very advanced mechanical creation. Somewhat similar to a beehive on Earth. Finally, J-A-R-V-I-S gave its own analysis results. Honeycomb. Tony Stark frowned. However, after careful observation, he found that the spherical mechanical honeycomb was indeed in line with J-A-R-V-I-S's analysis. I just don't know what the specific operating mode of this thing is. Could it be that the swarm is also released to attack? Tony Stark pondered to himself. But what he didn't know was that his sudden thought turned out to be true. At the same time, Thor also took action with his hammer. Hit me. Holding Mjolnir tightly, Thor dodged and smashed the sledgehammer towards the mechanical hive. But at the moment, sudden changes happened again. I saw the space gate above the sky twisting. Following a rumble, a huge figure squeezed out, even knocking a gap into the building below. This is a ferocious mechanical behemoth, like a beautiful work of art. The giant beast fell directly from the sky and came to Thor and others. The many cannons on its body were pointed at Thor and others with black holes, and a death threat suddenly struck. This is indeed Chitori's secret weapon. Seeing this scene, Tony Stark looked solemn. He was more certain of his guess at the moment. It must have been because Thor wanted to destroy the mechanical hive and angered Chitori, which attracted this mechanical behemoth. Seeing that Thor was locked, Tony Stark quickly came to help. Whoosh. The armor behind him opened, and a dozen missiles roared out. Missiles all over the sky suddenly exploded on the mechanical behemoth. Along with the deafening explosion, mushroom clouds rose one after another, but the mechanical behemoth rushed out directly from the explosion. Tony Stark's attack did not cause any effective damage to him. What? Tony Stark and others were immediately shocked. This mechanical behemoth is too powerful. After withstanding more than a dozen missiles, no damage was suffered at all, and everyone became more and more solemn. Can they win against such a powerful Chidori? You all be careful, let me do it. At the moment, Thor's angry shout sounded. He swung the hammer glowing with lightning, turned his attack, and slammed towards the mechanical behemoth. At the moment he had already finished accumulating his power, and Mjolnir was raging with endless thunder. The thunder and lightning circled Mjolnir like a dragon. Smash it. As Thor struck out, raging thunder poured out, crashing onto the mechanical behemoth like a thunderbolt. Amidst the crackling sound, the entire mechanical behemoth was instantly enveloped by thunder and lightning. Lightning flashes all over the sky. The surrounding Chitori soldiers were directly affected by the aftermath. Under the raging thunder and lightning, the Chitori soldiers trembled all over and were turned into coke by the electricity and fell. And the menacing mechanical beast was directly penetrated through the body. A hole appeared on the huge body. Bursts of black smoke filled the air, and the mechanical behemoth was covered in sparks and lightning. It was directly destroyed by Thor's move. Under everyone's shocked and horrified gaze, the mechanical behemoth crashed to the ground below. The violent vibration shook Captain America and others back to their senses. Great. Well done Thor. Shocked by Thor's strength, Captain America and others praised him without hesitation. Tony Stark curled his lips and said insincerely. It's okay. HMPH. Thor looked proud and immediately took action again. He wants to destroy the mechanical hive. It's still the same move just now, Thor holds Mjolnir in his hand, and his body is filled with thunder. A sledgehammer struck straight down towards the mechanical hive. Captain America and others below looked at this scene and couldn't help but look forward to it. They felt that Thor could definitely destroy the huge amounts of mechanical hive. 
After all, as powerful as Thor is, he is Thor from Asgard. Didn't you see that even the mechanical behemoth was destroyed by Thor's hammer? Even Tony Stark, who felt that he was being robbed of the limelight, watched silently, hoping that Thor would succeed. In the face of personal preference, it is definitely more important to defeat strong enemies. And Thor also hit it down with a hammer full of confidence. Buzz. Boom boom boom. The raging thunder surged endlessly, as if a thunder disaster was coming, and even the sky was only the color of thunder and lightning. Everyone who saw this scene of heaven and earth visions felt that Thor was coming. Thor's power was deeply rooted in people's hearts for a while. But at the moment Thor and others were not happy at all. Because of this blow, the mechanical hive was completely unmoved. Even because of Thor's attack, the hive trembled violently, and dense honeycomb-shaped holes appeared on the surface of the sphere. It was as if something was trying to come out. Could it be? Thinking of Jarvis's analysis, Tony Stark's expression changed drastically. He quickly shouted at Thor to remind. Get out of the way. Thor. What? Thor turned around in confusion. But he saw the shocked expressions of Captain America and others, as well as the anxious look on their faces. Feeling uneasy in his heart, he quickly turned around and looked. What you see is a dense swarm of bees. From those holes, tens of thousands of mechanical bees were drilled out one after another, each with the size of a basketball. The overwhelming swarm of mechanical swarms is coming like a plague of apocalyptic insects. Ding, Thor's emotional value is plus 888. Ding, Tony Stark's emotional value is plus 888. Ding. System prompts rang in Lin Fan's ears one after another. Lin Fan, who was sitting silently in the cafe at the moment, also saw the mechanical hive and even the mechanical swarm swarming out of it. What he didn't expect was that the mechanical swarm was so huge. The huge amounts of the insect nest are like a flying fortress. And the mechanical swarm that jumped out at the moment was like a doomsday insect plague, and the overwhelming number made people's scalp numb. Especially Lin Fan knows that the ability of the mechanical bee swarm has not yet been demonstrated. The greatest ability of the mechanical bee swarm is unlimited proliferation. I believe it will definitely give the Avengers Alliance and others a huge amount of surprise. There are also many entities that are spying in secret. Sure enough, danger and opportunity coexist. This battle in New York is definitely a perfect opportunity for me to gain emotional points. After looking at the emotional value he had obtained, Lin Fan nodded with satisfaction. Now he has gained tens of thousands of emotional points. Although the emotional value provided by ordinary people is very small, when the number of people reaches a certain number, it is barely worth the emotional value provided by a protagonist. Definitely the most important source is the protagonist group including Tony Stark. In particular, Lin Fan saw Thanos and others from the system prompt. Obviously, there are many people paying attention to the New York War at the moment, and even all of them are top players, but they are just people playing chess behind the scenes. And now Lin Fan is also one of the chess players. By the time the New York War ends, the amount of emotional value he can gain is unimaginable, starting at least tens of thousands. At that time, Lin Fan will be able to draw as he pleases. Produced by the system, it must be a high-quality product. Lin Fan said he was looking forward to it. Ding, Loki's emotional value is plus 666. On the top floor of the Stark Industrial Building, Loki's figure was quietly hidden here, overlooking the battle below. When he saw Thor destroying the Leviathan Beast with one blow, his expression was extremely ugly. Thor is still as arrogant as ever. And as far as he knew, Leviathan's behemoth was one of the trump cards of the Chidori army, but now it was easily defeated by Thor. If he can't take down the Earth, how should he report to Thanos? At the moment, the mechanical hive was suddenly touched. Following a violent vibration, countless mechanical swarms swarmed out, directly overwhelming and killing Thor and the others. What the hell is this? Although there are many of them, they look very weak. After seeing the Leviathan Beast again, Loki sneered at the numerous mechanical swarms. The mechanical swarm looks no more than the file size of a fist. Even the Leviathan Beast can't block Thor's blow. Is it possible that a group of weak mechanical swarms can still be Thor's opponent? Ignoring the battle below, Loki immediately contacted Chidori to request support. There is no doubt about the destructive power of Leviathan. 
At least it's better than the mechanical bee swarm. But facing the powerful Thor and others, more Leviathan beasts must be sent out, otherwise they will not be able to form a crushing force. Having just finished doing this, Loki was about to feel proud, but something unexpected happened below. Huh. Go to hell. Seeing the mechanical swarm rushing towards him, Thor snorted disdainfully. Even Leviathan is no match for him. Although there were a large number of these mechanical swarms, he was a little shocked at first, but soon he showed a disdainful expression. Hearing the exclamations of Captain America and others below, he did not dodge at all. Buzz. Mjolnir bursts with lightning, and Thor's body is surrounded by endless thunder. In an instant, the whole sky turned dark. Thor is like Thor coming, trying to trigger endless thunder and catastrophe and destroy everything in this world. Quote exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. Captain America and others below looked at this scene with their hearts trembling. Even someone as powerful as Tony Stark has to admit that Thor is indeed worthy of the title Thor. At the moment Thor went all out and showed his strong side. Buzz. Boom boom boom. Thor slammed the hammer out, and endless thunder surged. A chain of lightning burst out in an instant. Suddenly, the densely packed mechanical swarm covering the sky was instantly enveloped by thunder and lightning. The crackling sound filled the sky. I saw that the originally menacing mechanical swarm was destroyed by Thor's offensive in the blink of an eye, and collapsed one after another. Hiss. Oh my god. Isn't Thor too strong? This scene shocked Captain America and others. Thor was able to unleash such a terrifying offensive on his own, which was already beyond the scope of a mortal. A mortal body, as good as a god. Although the gods are just legends in their eyes, Thor is like a god at the moment. Thor's fighting power has surpassed the scope of human imagination. Tens of thousands of mechanical swarms were exploded in an instant, turning into dense fragments and falling, covering the ground below like winter snow including the mechanical remains of Chitori soldiers and Leviathan beasts, they were also covered on one floor. Well done Thor. Captain America and the others came to their senses and couldn't help but exclaimed loudly. Thor also showed a proud expression and said, It's just so-so. To deal with these weak guys, it's better for me to face a few more giant beasts like that just now. Buzz. As soon as he finished speaking, the space door in the sky trembled. Then the Leviathan beast emerged from it. And this time it was not one, but dozens of them in succession, directly blocking the light reflected in the sky. The entire area within a kilometer radius was directly shrouded in the shadow of the Leviathan beast. Thor you crow mouth. Seeing this scene, everyone in the Avengers Alliance was dumbfounded. They looked at Thor with dark faces. Look what you said is bad. You insist on saying such unlucky words. How are you going to deal with so many leviathan beasts now? Ahem, what, I was actually just joking, do you believe it? Thor also scratched his head in embarrassment. Stop talking nonsense. Tony Stark rolled his eyes and said angrily. The giant beast you want is here. Don't you think those bees are weak? Now is the time for you to kill them. HMPH. Then just watch. Seeing Tony Stark mocking him, Thor immediately stopped pretending. The two of them dislike each other because of their previous grudges. Now hearing what Tony Stark said, Thor directly regarded it as a provocation to himself, even if he was ready to show the other party how powerful he was. Aren't they just a dozen leviathan beasts? He would kill them for Tony Stark to see. Boom. Thor's figure exploded out, like thunder, and went straight towards the leviathan beast in the sky. Tony Stark was not to be outdone and directly controlled the armor to fly into the sky. Captain America and others were preparing to disperse to stop the Chitori soldiers. As for the mechanical hive, they were subconsciously ignored by them. After all, the mechanical hive did not have much combat effectiveness at all. Weren't tens of thousands of mechanical swarms all wiped out by Thor with just one move? But what no one discovered is that. When the fragments of the mechanical swarm fell on those metal creations, they suddenly merged into them like running water. Immediately afterwards, the metal twisted and slowly transformed into the form of a mechanical bee. It's all just appearances. Could these be Chitori's mechanical pets? Seeing that the mechanical swarm was vulnerable, Loki sneered. It seems that we still have to rely on the Leviathan beast. At the moment, more than a dozen leviathan beasts turned into natural disasters and wreaked havoc in the city, 
turning the bustling metropolis into ruins in the blink of an eye. Those tall buildings were directly knocked to pieces by the Leviathan Beast. Thor and Tony Stark competed to intercept each other back and forth. But after all, they were only two people and could not intercept all the Leviathan Beasts, so they quickly called S.H.I.E.L.D. for reinforcements. Nick Fury, what are you doing? Where are the S.H.I.E.L.D. people? Where are the military people? Tony Stark cursed dissatisfiedly directly to the communication channel. At the moment Captain America and others were all on the channel. Everyone did not feel offended when they heard Tony Stark being so ruthless, but they also felt that S.H.I.E.L.D. was not doing anything. Facing the menacing aliens, should we only rely on the Avengers Alliance? Tony, I know you are in a hurry, but don't be in a hurry yet. There was silence on the other side of the communication line, and then Nick Fury's deep voice came. Phil Coulson has summoned the special operations team to support. Natasha Romanoff and others are evacuating the crowd outside, and Melinda is also driving the Quinjet on the way. Just because you didn't see it doesn't mean S.H.I.E.L.D. didn't do anything. The pressure I'm under is far greater than yours. Nick Fury sounded a little dissatisfied at the end of his words. Tony Stark has always misunderstood them because of Natasha Romanoff's matter, and conflicts broke out before about the space Rubik's Cube. Now when it comes to talking, Tony Stark is even more confident. As S.H.I.E.L.D. director, is he shameless? Snort. Tony snorted, noncommittal. He could only vent his anger on the Leviathan Beast in front of him. J-A-R-V-I-S, full fire. With an order, the muzzle was exposed on the chest of the armor. J-A-R-V-I-S controlled the energy accumulation, and with a burst of brilliant light, a super-electromagnetic cannon shot out. The Leviathan Beast opened its huge mouth and prepared to attack, and its body was directly penetrated. Under Tony Stark's unreserved attack, the Leviathan Beast died immediately, roaring from the sky and crashing to the ground. And what a coincidence, the location where it fell was exactly below the mechanical hive. That's where the mechanical swarms are scattered. The fragments of the mechanical swarm went directly along the body of the Leviathan Beast, burrowing into it like parasites. Along with a weird metal crawling, mechanical bees slowly formed. But all this was almost unnoticed by anyone. Mjolnir, look at your performance. We can't be underestimated. Thor felt provoked when he saw Tony succeeding in the same attack. He immediately cheered for Mjolnir. As if sensing the master's fighting intention, Mjolnir trembled violently, and the thunder raging on it was even more terrifying. Very good. Let's kill him. Thor roared out. Facing a leviathan beast in front of him, he didn't take any action. Once he did, it was a killing blow. Mjolnir hit the leviathan directly on the head. The thunder and lightning surged endlessly, and the sound of explosions came and went. The leviathan beast's head was blown off, its huge body lost power, and it roared directly to the ground. And just like before, this leviathan beast was quickly eroded. All the metal in his body was swallowed up by the mechanical swarm. As a contained object numbered 10086, the mechanical swarm does not have the destructive power to destroy the world, let alone produce any terrifying and strange effects. But as long as there is enough metal, the mechanical swarm will be immortal and multiply indefinitely. Wherever the mechanical swarm goes, it is like a plague of locusts passing by, and the metal veins on the planet will be completely exhausted. At the moment includes leviathan beasts, chitori soldiers even the metal creations on earth. Therefore, all objects containing metal will become food for the endless proliferation of mechanical bee colonies. But everyone in the Avengers Alliance who was busy fighting accidentally discovered this situation. Even because of the full interception of the Avengers Alliance and the arrival of support from S.H.I.E.L.D., more and more Chidori turned into corpses and fell down. But these mechanically built warriors were eventually devoured by the mechanical swarm. Ha ha ha, is this all Chidori's strength? At the moment, a disdainful laugh came from the sky. It turned out that Thor defeated the Leviathan Beast one after another. Perhaps he really felt that the enemy was too weak, or perhaps he simply wanted to show off in front of everyone in the Avengers Alliance. While fighting, he taunted crazily. Can you do it? These big guys are not strong. Look, I scared you like this. When I was in Asgard, I have seen enemies more powerful than this. Giants of Jochenheim. Flame Giant. Rock Giant. There is also a flying Zugenbau. Those guys are even more difficult to deal with. 
are the people of Midgard so inexperienced? Thor taunted, and while speaking, he once again destroyed a leviathan beast. This immediately made everyone in the Avengers Alliance speechless with ugly faces. After all, strength is the way to go. Facing Thor's crazy jumping face, only Hulk, who arrived belatedly, yelled in dissatisfaction. Hulk. Angry. Annoying bug. Thor, stop joking. In the communication channel, Captain America Steve gave a few words of helpless advice. He also felt that Thor's words were a bit excessive. After all, we are all on the same team. Although their strength is indeed inferior to each other, this is not the reason for Thor to mock them. Uh huh. In the face of everyone's protests, Thor said noncommittally. I just told the truth. Snort. Tony Stark, who remained silent, snorted secretly. At the moment, he had a dark face, but he couldn't refute what Thor said, after all, he was right. Forcing himself to ignore Thor's shouts, he tried to stay away. And at the same time, he subconsciously glanced at where the mechanical hive was. He still remembered the warning from J.A.R.V.I.S. But after such a long time, the insect nest did not show anything strange, so he temporarily put aside his vigilance against the insect nest. But now that he was about to leave, he subconsciously took another look. But as the saying goes, if you look at it one more time, it will explode. What Tony Stark saw made his eyes widen suddenly, and he was even stunned on the spot. He didn't even notice the leviathan beast charging towards him from a distance. Hey, Iron Man. Thor noticed this immediately and subconsciously mocked. What? Did you pee your pants because you were scared? It seems that I really overestimated you, ha ha ha. As he spoke, Thor's figure flew over. He raised Mjolnir high again and swung the hammer directly, destroying the leviathan beast that wanted to sneak attack Tony Stark. The leviathan beast fell from the sky and crashed to the ground below with a roar. Thor, who won with one blow, was ready to mock Tony Stark. But at the moment, the anxious shouts of Captain America and others suddenly came from the Avengers communication channel. No. Thor, get out of the way. What? Thor was confused when he heard this. With his back to the Stark Industrial Building, he looked at Tony Stark and saw the look of horror on the other person's face. For a moment, he seemed to realize something and turned around suddenly. But then he was stunned on the spot. Ding, Thor's emotional value is plus 888. Ding, Tony Stark's emotional value is plus 888. Ding. Looking at the scene in front of him, Thor suddenly felt his scalp numb. Just because this scene is so terrible. But at the moment in front of everyone, tens of thousands of mechanical swarms were overwhelming, just like the legendary apocalyptic insect plague had arrived. This is not like the previous one where there were only a few or tens of thousands. The surrounding space is crowded with countless bugs, and patients with trypophobia are furious. As the overwhelming swarm of insects rose into the sky, the sky suddenly darkened, as if it had entered the dark night. Everyone is shrouded in the shadow brought by the insect swarm. Holy crab. What's going on? Why are there so many bugs? Thor swallowed and shouted over the communication channel. Where did these bugs come from? There was dead silence in the communication channel. Faced with Thor's question, no one can give an accurate answer because they have no way of knowing. Do these bugs all come out of the hive? But this isn't right either. Although the hive is indeed very large, it cannot accommodate so many bugs. You must know that this is a swarm of at least hundreds of thousands of bees. Only Tony Stark seemed to have thought of something. If this is really a mechanical hive, a group of mechanical creations similar to the hive race, then what is its operating principle? Recalling J.A.R.V.I.S.'s analysis, Tony Stark couldn't help but fall into deep thought. But then he suddenly saw the leviathan beast below. I saw that the leviathan beast that had just been killed by Thor was inevitably contaminated with some fragments of the mechanical swarm after falling to the ground. Then something strange happened. Under Tony Stark's watchful eye, the fragments quietly merged into the leviathan. This change happened very suddenly and quietly. No one would notice this detail if they didn't happen to see it. Suddenly Tony Stark's pupils shrank. Could it be that? As if he realized something, Tony Stark's expression suddenly changed. He quickly sent out a reminder on the communication channel. But at the moment, before he could react, those mechanical swarms were the first to attack. 
Perhaps out of spite, countless mechanical swarms swarmed towards Thor. Even including all the metals that can be seen around. HMPH. Get out of my way. Thor's face darkened slightly, and Mjolnir glowed in his hand. Endless thunder swept out like a storm. The mechanical swarms that rushed towards him were directly knocked over by the thunderstorm, and some even turned into fragments in the explosion. But in the end, Thor only killed a small part, and more mechanical swarms followed one after another. Even Tony Stark was targeted. A dense swarm of mechanical swarms swarmed in and directly surrounded him. Ding, Tony Stark's emotional value. There is an endless stream of mechanical bee swarms, their ferocious and sharp mouthparts flashing with cold light. Tony Stark's face became solemn when he thought of the speculation in his mind. He has no doubt that although the steel armor on his body is powerful, it may not be able to stop the devouring of these mechanical swarms. What the hell are these? Tony Stark cursed inwardly. If it was what he thought, then no matter how many Chitori soldiers they killed at the moment, they would only be adding nutrients to these mechanical swarms. And once these bugs reach an uncontrollable number, the consequences are simply unimaginable. By then the metal resources of the entire earth will be threatened. This is definitely a disaster for mankind. Ding, Tony Stark's emotional value plus 1111. Tony Stark simply couldn't imagine how such a weird population could exist in the world. Is this definitely a product that technology can produce? Chitori was originally very powerful, but now there is such a weird technological creation. Facing such a terrifying enemy, do they still have hope of defeating each other? For a moment, Tony Stark felt very heavy. Sir, please don't be distracted. We are fighting now. At the moment, the mechanical sound of J-A-R-V-I-S sounded. Immediately afterwards, J-A-R-V-I-S, who had the authority to assist in controlling the armor, directly controlled the armor to fly into the air, and released energy cannons from its palms one after another. Those swarms of mechanical swarms were directly destroyed by the palm thunder. But more mechanical swarms rushed over one after another. Tony Stark regained consciousness and took over the suit. While controlling the armor to flash and move, he spoke to the communication channel and said in a deep voice. Guys, we're in big trouble. No one spoke in the communication channel. Because at the moment, facing the threat of overwhelming mechanical swarms and even the Chitori army, everyone was fighting with all their strength. Even as powerful as Thor, Thor was still annoyed by the mechanical swarm at the moment. These seemingly weak insects are completely inexhaustible. Big trouble. But after hearing what Tony Stark said, Thor still retorted harshly. Although the number of these bugs is a bit large, it's nothing more than that. Doesn't anyone really think that they can do whatever they want because of the large number? You fool. Tony Stark was furious. Thor, the fool, was trying to pick a fight with him, wasn't he? Since you are so arrogant, why don't you go to the construction site to move bricks? Isn't this an arrogant person? Listen to me, everyone. Not bothering to argue with Thor, Tony Stark made a surprising statement. Everyone should stay away from these mechanical swarms immediately and don't attack them again, otherwise the consequences will be disastrous. What? As soon as this statement came out, everyone in the communication channel was in an uproar. Captain America and others, who were originally troubled by the mechanical swarm, were completely uneasy. They were all shocked by Tony Stark's words. The enemy had already made things difficult for them. Tony Stark, who is now a teammate, actually says such words that make others more ambitious and undermine his own prestige. But they all know that Tony Stark is by no means a targetless person. So what did Tony Stark discover? Could there be a more serious threat than the one at hand? Although they did not want to accept this fact, everyone still suppressed their uneasiness and asked into the communication channel while fighting. Tony, what the hell is going on? What did you find? Thor, who wanted to complain about Tony Stark, didn't say anything. He wanted to hear what the other party had to say. However, in terms of movements, he did not hold back at all. Mjolnir continued to release rolling thunder. Those mechanical swarms couldn't stir up waves in his hands. In just the blink of an eye, a large area of space cleared up in the sky, and the fragments of countless mechanical swarms fell like snowflakes. Seeing himself killing everyone, Thor felt extremely proud. Is this the threat Tony Stark was talking about? The consequences could be disastrous. 
he didn't see any threat at all. Sure enough, the people of Midgard have never seen the world. Although the Chitori have a large number of people, in terms of single combat power, they are far inferior to races such as the giants of Jochenheim. So from beginning to end, he didn't take these enemies seriously. Thor, that's enough. Seeing that Thor refused to listen to dissuasion, Tony Stark became angry. He shouted angrily into the communication channel. Do you know what these mechanical swarms are? They are insect plagues in Doomsday. The more you kill, the more they will become. Insect plague. Doomsday. Thor immediately laughed when he heard this, and said disdainfully. You call this an apocalyptic insect plague. Saying this, regardless of Tony Stark's reaction, he waved his hand again, and tens of thousands of mechanical swarms were destroyed. Only the brilliant thunder was flashing in the surrounding sky. Thor, stop it. Tony Stark was furious when he saw this. Unable to hold back his anger any longer, he wanted to scold Thor for being stupid and vent his dissatisfaction. But at the moment, something unexpected happened. The ground below suddenly shook violently, and the bodies of the leviathan beasts exploded. A black swarm of mechanical bees swarmed out of it. Everyone who saw this scene was shocked. Ding. Previously, because of Lin Fan's order, those mechanical swarms were not overly arrogant. All phagocytosis and proliferation are carried out quietly. But as time goes by, the mechanical swarm has now reached a very terrifying number, and it is time to give the Avengers Alliance a little surprise. Buzz. Buzz. There are nearly hundreds of thousands of mechanical swarms, vibrating their wings at the same time like a storm sweeping across. The violent trembling sound deeply impacted everyone present. After receiving Lin Fan's instructions, all the mechanical swarms no longer concealed their whereabouts and emerged directly from the corpses of the leviathan beasts. For a time, within a radius of one kilometer, the clear sky was directly obscured by the mechanical bee swarm. Everyone's hearts seemed to be covered with a layer of haze. Holy crab. What on earth is going on? Thor was startled and cursed. Although he considered himself very powerful and had even fought against the giants of Jochenheim, he did not take these bugs seriously at all. But the number of these bugs is too many, right? Ding. Thor's emotional value plus 1234. Including Captain America and others, everyone swallowed subconsciously and said in disbelief. So many bugs. Is this really a doomsday bug plague? Ding. Steve Rogers' emotional value is plus 1111. Ding. Black Widow's emotional value is plus 888. Ding. Hawkeye's emotional value is plus 666. Ding. Hulk's emotional value. Ding. Loki. The system prompts sounded one after another, showing the shock in everyone's hearts at the moment. Captain America seemed to have thought of something, and quickly said in a deep voice. Tony, what on earth did you find? What on earth are these bugs going on? While speaking, Captain America and others did not hesitate at all. Because at the moment they were all targeted by bugs. Especially Captain America holding a vibranium shield. In addition to being loyal to Lin Fan, the only instinct of the mechanical swarm is to devour metal and proliferate infinitely. The vibranium shield in the hands of Captain America is undoubtedly an excellent nourishment. In the same way, Tony Stark's armor, Mjolnir in Thor's hand, is also the target that the mechanical swarm is eager to devour. Bang bang bang. Boom boom boom. Suddenly the battle broke out again, even more intense. But this time it's no longer about facing Chidori. But everyone in the Avengers Alliance would rather deal with the Chidori soldiers than be enemies with these bugs. After all, the difference in quantity between the two is not even a tiny bit. Fortunately, although the number of mechanical bee swarms is large, they do not show particularly strong combat effectiveness. But if the quantity is large, they are not unacceptable. But what Tony Stark said next made everyone's hearts tremble, and the joy that had just risen in their hearts completely dissipated. Everyone, we are in big trouble. Tony Stark said seriously while dealing with the mechanical swarm. After Jarvis's analysis, these bugs are likely to have the ability to devour metal and proliferate infinitely. The mechanical behemoths we killed before have all become their nourishment. It even includes the buildings around us, metal creations, and even underground metal mineral resources. Once they are allowed to expand indefinitely, I'm afraid. Tony Stark didn't say anything else. 
Firstly, it was because he was overwhelmed by the swarms of mechanical swarms, and secondly, because he was unwilling to face the worst possible situation. Swallowing metal. Infinite expansion. Everyone in the Avengers Alliance was stunned when they heard this explanation. They couldn't believe what they were hearing. Because as Tony Stark said, allowing the mechanical swarm to expand infinitely will be a devastating blow to the entire Earth. But how should they deal with the mechanical swarm that has almost no weaknesses? HMPH. I don't believe they don't have weaknesses. Thor was shocked and shouted angrily. He was also annoyed by these bugs, and thunder suddenly surged around him, making him look like Thor. With Mjolnir in hand, he charged straight into the mechanical swarm. Suddenly, I saw endless thunder raging in the sky. Thor was like the god of war, frantically killing the mechanical swarms around him, and insect corpses all over the sky fell like snowflakes. But when these corpses fell below, they were directly integrated into the metal creations. Skyscrapers, cars, billboards. All creations with metal become the nourishment for the mechanical swarm to come back to life and even multiply indefinitely. Even this all happened in the blink of an eye. And it wasn't until at the moment that everyone in the Avengers Alliance finally saw all this. It's over. What Tony said is true. For a time, everyone's mood sank to the bottom. Including Tony Stark, who guessed the truth from the beginning, seeing all this with his own eyes, he was no less shocked than Captain America and others. If it was just speculation before, now it is a cruel fact. This means they will face an immortal enemy. No matter how they attack, apart from slowing down the expansion of the insect swarm, there is no way to completely eliminate these bugs. Thinking of this, Tony Stark's face turned extremely ugly. How could this happen? Ding! Tony Stark's emotional value plus 2,333. Ding! Loki's emotional value is plus 1,111. In Lin Fan's ears, a cold system prompt sounded quietly. But his mood was extremely beautiful. As the mechanical swarm showed its true side, everyone, including everyone in the Avengers Alliance, felt huge amounts of shock. But Lin Fan doesn't care much about this. What he cares about most is the improvement of his mood value. Now he has gained as much as 30,000 emotional points. The gold level lottery only costs 5,000 emotional points once, which means that I have been able to perform six consecutive draws. With this in mind, Lin Fan couldn't help but look forward to it even more. Gold level draws have a high probability of producing rare rewards. Items like the mechanical bee swarm are only silver level, which is enough to show the gold content of the system lottery. Especially the people or items obtained through the lottery are all from all over the world. Lin Fan can't wait to draw a wave of prizes. But looking at the commotion outside, especially the sky obscured by the mechanical swarm, he finally endured it. The fun has just begun. Next. With a strange light shining in his eyes, Lin Fan murmured in a low voice. It's time to show the terrifying side of the mechanical swarm. Dot. At the same time, the mechanical swarm received instructions. Hundreds of thousands of mechanical swarms swept out in all directions like crazy, devouring all metal objects in front of them. People including Tony Stark and Thor Thor were also targeted by the mechanical swarm. Suddenly, the mechanical swarm began to expand rapidly like a virus. Anything containing metal, and even high-rise buildings, were directly devoured by the mechanical swarm, causing many tall buildings to collapse. Even the Stark Industrial Building is crumbling under the devouring force of the mechanical swarm. Stop it. Tony was furious when he saw this. Previously, Loki used the Stark Tower as a source of energy to open a space portal, which already made him feel very unhappy. But at the moment, these bugs were going to completely devour his building. A billion dollars is not much money in his opinion. But watching all this, and he was helpless, this was what made him most angry. Tony, stop being stunned, now is not the time to worry about a building. At the moment, Steve's deep voice sounded. There was still a hint of exhaustion in his voice. It's obvious that after a long battle, even someone as strong as Captain America can't help but feel physically and mentally exhausted. What you said is very light. Tony Stark retorted angrily. Without further entanglement, he looked at the mechanical swarm swarming around him and immediately began to fight back. But there were explosions in midair, and for a while, blazing fire shot into the sky. 
And at the moment, a female voice came from the communication channel. Everyone, S-H-I-E-L-D's support is here. At the same time as the words sounded, a violent whistling sound came from the distance, followed by three Quinn jets arriving in an instant. Quinn jet, the top fighter built by S.H.I.E.L.D. It is equipped with many extremely advanced auxiliary systems, such as optical invisibility. Even Tony Stark's suit didn't notice Quinn jet's approach in advance. Whoosh. Boom boom boom. As soon as Quinn jet appears, he directly launches a carpet attack. The free missiles turned into rain and roared out. The overwhelming mechanical swarms were quickly wiped out, turning into insect corpses and falling from the sky. The arrival of the three Quinn jets has greatly reduced the pressure on everyone in the Avengers Alliance. And military support arrived soon after. Under the leadership of General Ross, the military team blocked a kilometer radius, and more than a dozen Tiger tanks drove down from the carrier aircraft. At the same time, there were also Eagle fighter jets from the military. These fighters are much inferior to the Quinn jet. But the military is a military after all. The dispatch of more than a dozen fighter jets at the same time is enough to show the military's generosity. Along with violent rumblings, the counterattack from the military began. Boom boom boom. Boom boom boom. General Ross gave an order, and the skywide offensive swept out. A hundred meters in radius suddenly turned into a battlefield filled with artillery fire. Even the Avengers Alliance and others a few blocks away were startled by the movement, but then felt a burst of joy. Great. Support is finally here. Steve let out a long sigh of relief. With their strength alone, there is no way to stop the Chitori army, let alone the mechanical swarm that can multiply indefinitely. But at the moment, with the support of S.H.I.E.L.D. and the military, their pressure is much less. At the very least, it can somewhat stabilize the current chaotic situation. Don't be too happy too soon. But unfortunately, Tony Stark poured cold water on him and said. If the space door cannot be closed, Chitori armies will continue to arrive. These bugs can expand infinitely. The crisis we face is far from being resolved. As soon as these words came out, everyone's mood became heavy again. Steve's face also darkened. As Tony Stark said, if the problem cannot be solved fundamentally, this crisis will be far from being solved. It's a pity that they can't find any solution to the problem. Ding. It is different from the depressing atmosphere of Avengers Alliance. At the moment, Loki, who was hiding in the dark, laughed and taunted. A bunch of stupid guys. A mere mortal actually tries to resist God's rule. It's just a mantis trying to use his own strength as a chariot, and he overestimates his own capabilities. These bugs are really powerful. God is really helping me. Let me add fuel to your fire. Loki stood on top of the building, looking down at the embarrassed Thor and others below. The earth is already regarded by him as his vassal. Once the Chitori army takes over Earth, he, Loki, can ascend the throne and lead his army back to Asgard. Wealth that does not return home is like walking in brocade at night. He wanted to let the old man see who was the best candidate to succeed the new king. With this thought in his mind, Loki immediately said in a deep voice. The Chitori army, attack. Buzz. The space gate surged, and more Chitori soldiers swarmed out of it along with the Leviathan beast. As the saying goes, take advantage of your illness to kill you. Seeing that everyone in the Avengers Alliance is in dire straits, Loki naturally doesn't mind adding fuel to the fire. He wanted to see Thor being tortured like crazy. No. The Chitori army is here again. The mutation in the space gate was immediately noticed by everyone in the Avengers Alliance. Suddenly Tony Stark and others were shocked. They had already been tortured in great pain, but now that the Chitori army had arrived again, the situation suddenly became worse. Facing the mechanical swarm and the Chitori army at the same time, they might as well just surrender. This is a completely one-sided crushing battle. But at the moment, something unexpected happened. The newly joined Chitori army, under Loki's order, went directly towards the Avengers Alliance and others. The Leviathan Beast is rampaging and destroying all the buildings in front of it. Everyone in the Avengers Alliance is also preparing for a life and death battle. But before either side could take action first, to everyone's surprise, those mechanical swarms were the first to move. I saw those mechanical swarms swarming towards the Chitori army. Two terrifying armies collided in the blink of an eye. 
the mechanical swarm, regarded by everyone in the Avengers Alliance as Chitori's trump card, poured directly into the Chitori army, and then their bodies exploded suddenly. Accompanied by bursts of explosions, the Chitori army that had just arrived suffered heavy losses. In an instant, at least tens of thousands of Chitori soldiers died. Especially after the mechanical swarm exploded, fragments of insect corpses splashed onto the bodies of the Chitori soldiers, and then began to devour their bodies crazily. Not even the Leviathan beast could stop it from being devoured by the mechanical swarm. The alloy bodies they wear don't even have the slightest protective effect. The mechanical swarm is like tarsal maggots. Once it is infected with the bodies of those Chitori soldiers, it will immediately devour and proliferate crazily. In just the blink of an eye, the dead mechanical swarm came back to life. Even the overall number of mechanical swarms has increased significantly again. This kind of self-destruction method destroys enemies, and then devours them to multiply. The nearly immortal population is like a doomsday insect plague. Everyone in the Avengers Alliance was shocked beyond words when they saw this scene, and there was only deep shock in their hearts. The mechanical swarm had not taken the initiative before, as if it was not aggressive. But at the moment the mechanical swarm showed a terrifying side. Not only can the mechanical swarm self-destruct, it is even extremely powerful, inferior to the missiles carried by military fighter jets. You must know that the number of mechanical bee swarms can reach hundreds of thousands. With so many, missiles, exploding at the same time, the power is no less than that of a small nuclear bomb. Everyone in the Women's Federation simply couldn't imagine that kind of scene. And most importantly, everyone initially thought that the mechanical swarm was Chidori's trump card. But what did they see now? The mechanical swarm actually attacked Chidori soldiers, even launching self-destructive attacks, just to devour the enemy's corpses and multiply indefinitely. The meaning behind this immediately shocked everyone. Either the mechanical swarm comes from a third-party force, or the Chitori are invading the Earth, even sacrificing their army, in order to help continue the rapid expansion of the mechanical swarm. The above two possibilities, no matter which one they are, represent that a huge amount of crisis has arrived. The former means that the Earth is being targeted by more powerful beings. The latter shows Chitori's madness and unscrupulousness. Whatever the truth is, it's not good news for them. Ding. Hiss. Oh my god. This. Seeing the scene in front of them, everyone felt their hearts trembling for a moment. At the moment, everyone was speechless except for shock. At the same time, their faces were as solemn and gloomy as water. Even though he was as strong as Thor, Thor felt a tingling sensation in his heart. This kind of immortal enemy is really terrifying. If a swarm of mechanical swarms descends on Asgard, can his father, the man known as the god King Odin, be able to solve this crisis? Ding, Thor's mood value. Thor, what are you thinking about? My father is the god King Odin, and these little bugs are just mediocre. Thor shook his head and dismissed his random thoughts. The abilities of these insects may seem a bit unsolvable, but in front of his father, they certainly cannot make any waves. After all, his father is called God King Odin by countless people. Definitely, if necessary, he can return to Asgard at any time and ask his father to take action. But at the moment, in Thor's opinion, things haven't reached that point yet. And at the moment, Captain America's voice suddenly sounded. Everyone, we must not retreat. Because behind us are millions of New Yorkers, and the country we love. At the moment the situation has reached a very serious moment. As the former captain of the United States, Steve immediately stood up to encourage morale. And his words revived everyone's spirits. Now that they have chosen to join the Avengers Alliance, they will not back down easily, even if there is no hope of victory at all. Because what they are fighting for is not an organization or individual. Perhaps only Captain America fights for his country. But the original intention of Tony Stark and others was also to protect their families. After all, there is a saying that no egg is left intact until the nest is overturned. After hearing Captain America's words, Tony Stark seemed to have made some kind of decision. He gritted his teeth and ordered J-A-R-V-I-S. J-A-R-V-I-S, call all the armors here. I want a big one. Okay, sir. The emotionless electronic sound of J-A-R-V-I-S sounded. At the same time, in the stark manner outside the city, 
more than a dozen battle armors soared into the sky. The armor flew towards New York City under the control of JARVIS. Within the communication channel, Steve and others all heard Tony Stark's order. Suddenly everyone couldn't help but look forward to it. Tony Stark's armor is very powerful, and its combat effectiveness is obvious to all. At the very least, it can help them relieve some pressure. Every bit of combat power at this time is of great help to them. Naturally, Steve and others would not refuse. Tony, I have an idea. At the moment, Captain America's voice sounded again in the communication channel. He asked with a somewhat uncertain tone. You just said that these bugs are mechanical creations and can resist JARVIS's network intrusion, right? Yes. Tony Stark's words were concise and concise, but he didn't take it seriously. Captain America what kind of technology does an old man know? Even he is helpless. Is it possible that Captain America can still find a way to deal with these bugs? At the same time, the rest of the Avengers Alliance were also confused. In that case, I hope you can do one thing. After receiving Tony Stark's confirmed reply, Captain America Steve quickly said. No matter what the origin of this thing is, since it is a mechanical creation, it must be controlled by others, so can you find a way to invade its internal network and seize control? This. When everyone heard this, their eyes suddenly lit up. This method does work. Since the mechanical swarm is nearly immortal, as long as it can seize control, the enemy is no longer an enemy. It's not as simple as you said. But Tony Stark retorted angrily. JARVIS is already the most advanced artificial intelligence, but there is no way to invade its internal network, let alone seize control of these bugs. As soon as this statement came out, everyone was immediately poured cold water on them. Captain America Steve said with a helpless smile. I know it's hard, but isn't it our only option? Tony, you know it. Steve said with a somewhat solemn tone. You are definitely the smartest among us when it comes to technology. I believe you can do it. Snort. Tony Stark snorted coldly when he heard this. Although Captain America was praising him, his elder-like attitude still made him feel uncomfortable. But he was unhappy, and he didn't refute anything at the moment. Because he knew very well that what the other party said was absolutely correct. Since it is physically impossible to eliminate the mechanical swarm, perhaps we can start from within. He didn't believe he couldn't deal with a bunch of bugs. I can try, but I need time. Tony Stark said, directly giving instructions to JARVIS. JARVIS, forcibly hack into idle servers around the world, including the military and even special departments. I want you to use all your strength to invade the internal networks of these bugs. Tony you can't. In the communication channel, Nick Fury's brows jumped wildly. He subconsciously wanted to stop it. Invading servers all over the world, even Tony Stark could do it. Isn't he afraid of going to military court? But when he was halfway through speaking, he choked back in the end. Because he knows very well how serious the current situation is. Compared with the troubles that may arise afterwards, solving the immediate crisis is what they should do most. And he was also mentally prepared to wipe Tony Stark's butt afterwards. At the same time, JARVIS began to take action. He directly hacked into servers all over the world, and any idle terminals were forcibly borrowed by him. But what JARVIS didn't find was. In the online world filled with countless codes, a beautiful figure watched it all silently. The Red Queen's respectful voice sounded quietly in Lin Fan's ears. Master, do you want to stop them? Ding. Lin Fan ignored the system prompts in his ears. After hearing what the Red Queen said, he glanced at the fight outside the cafe and said calmly. That's not necessary. You have to help them instead. Yes, Master. The Red Queen heard this without any hesitation. Even though Lin Fan's order seems abnormal, to her, Lin Fan's order is the supreme will she obeys. And just after thinking for a moment, she guessed Lin Fan's intention. Isn't this just to pave the way for her appearance? As low-level containment objects, mechanical bee swarms have brought enough shock to the world, and they cannot act too invincible. Besides, the Red Queen knew very well that her master had planned a big plan. The mechanical swarm is just an introduction. The arrival of the SCP organization with her as its spokesperson in this world is the climax of today's drama. 
Soon after becoming famous, she started making small moves in the online world. The mechanical hive also actively weakened the firewall. After everything is ready, the only thing left is for JARVIS to launch a hacking attack, and then the mechanical swarm will be able to end its role. But before that, Lin Fan has to use the mechanical bee swarm to conduct a test. He looked towards the top floor of the Stark building, where the space door shone with a strange light. And behind the door is Chitori's mothership. But Lin Fan knows very well that Chitori is just a group of cannon fodder, and the real driving force behind it is Thanos. Since Thanos is also watching the battle, let me give you a little shock too. With this in mind, Lin Fan directly issued instructions to the Mechanical Swarm. The Mechanical Swarm, numbering nearly a million, is moving again. I saw an overwhelming swarm of mechanical bees, their wings vibrating and buzzing, and their ferocious mouthparts shone with an icy cold light. Tony Stark was the first to bear the brunt, and his armor was directly chewed into pits. Fortunately, he reacted in time and quickly controlled the armor to retreat. But then he felt terrified for a while. You must know that he is just a mortal. Although he has strength comparable to Thor, it is simply the blessing given to him by the armor. Once the armor is destroyed, it is likely to become the food of the mechanical swarm. Maybe in the blink of an eye he will be devoured and not even a scrap will be left. This made him feel frightened and angry, but also more helpless, desperate and helpless in the face of the mechanical swarm. J-A-R-V-I-S, how's it going? Tony Stark asked in a low tone. The situation was dire and the only way he could think of turning a corner was with J-A-R-V-I-S. Invasion in progress. The emotionless electronic sound of J-A-R-V-I-S sounded. Sir, I have hacked into the global space server and invaded the mechanical hive. It is expected to take three hours. What? Three hours? After hearing this, Tony Stark immediately exclaimed. Not that he thought it was too long. But because before this, J-A-R-V-I-S had no way of hacking into the mechanical swarm, but at the moment there was hope. Doesn't that mean, as long as everything goes well, is Captain America's idea really possible? That old antique. After muttering something softly, Tony Stark said in a deep voice. J-A-R-V-I-S, I give you the highest authority to directly hack into the global network. You must invade the mechanical swarm as quickly as possible. Okay, sir. J-A-R-V-I-S immediately took action. In the Avengers Alliance communication channel, everyone including Captain America heard this conversation. They were also pleasantly surprised by the hope given by J-A-R-V-I-S. As for Tony Stark's wanton behavior. In the face of the survival of the entire human race, this so-called bad impact is nothing to regret. Nick Fury is also ready to help wipe the butt. Just when everyone subconsciously wanted to breathe a sigh of relief. Get out of my way. Thor's sharp voice suddenly sounded. Everyone looked around and saw Thor surrounded by a swarm of mechanical swarms, with constant explosions ringing through the sky. The mechanical swarm seemed to be fearless and rushed towards Thor. They frantically tried to devour Mjolnir. Even in the next moment, he was directly blasted by the thunder and lightning emitted by Mjolnir. But then there will be more mechanical swarms coming one after another. Faced with such a crazy impact, even as powerful as Thor, Thor felt a little numb. Quote exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. Thor's face was dark, Mjolnir held high in his hand. Endless thunder swept in all directions. With bursts of thunder, a large area of the surrounding mechanical bees were wiped out. It's a pity that the speed of destruction cannot match the speed of proliferation. As the mechanical swarm was constantly devouring it, the surrounding high-rise buildings were crumbling, and the metal inside them was completely hollowed out. When an endless stream of mechanical swarms flew out of it, the high-rise buildings suddenly collapsed. Soon only Stark Industrial Building was left struggling. Ding! Tony Stark's emotional value plus 2,333. This can't go on like this. Otherwise there won't be enough time for J-A-R-V-I-S. Seeing this, Tony Stark was already aware of the seriousness of the situation. The proliferation rate of the mechanical swarm is too fast. If it cannot be contained, when J-A-R-V-I-S hacks into the mechanical hive, the whole of New York may be destroyed. Unless someone can lure these bugs somewhere else. For example, Tony Stark raised his eyes and looked at the space portal. Chitori. 
Looking at the space door, Tony Stark's eyes flashed with determination. It was as if he had made a decision. Under everyone's shocked gaze, he directly controlled the armor and rushed towards the mechanical swarm, fearless of death. Captain America and others didn't even have a chance to stop him. By the time they reacted, Tony Stark had already attracted the mechanical swarm and disappeared behind the space door that emitted a strange light. Behind Tony Stark, there were at least hundreds of thousands of mechanical swarms following closely behind. This means that Tony Stark will face a situation of no life or death. You must know that there is no gravity in space. Tony Stark is only wearing an ordinary armor and does not have the ability to survive in space at all. Under such circumstances, being chased by hundreds of thousands of mechanical swarms, the outcome is already conceivable. Tony. After realizing it, Captain America and others shouted. Thor was even more stunned. Although he and Tony Stark didn't deal with each other, at the moment, a feeling of respect arose in his heart for Tony Stark's self-sacrifice behavior. As a warrior of Asgard, what he admires most are brave and fearless warriors. And Tony Stark's behavior was approved by him. Be careful, I'll go rescue them. Without any hesitation, Thor waved Mjolnir directly, and then got into the space door. Tony Stark is a warrior worthy of admiration. Seeing the other party working so hard without caring about his own life, he couldn't just watch and remain indifferent. Quote exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. Captain America and others were anxious when they saw this. Not knowing anything about the situation in the outer sky, Tony Stark and Thor went there rashly, and the consequences were simply unimaginable. Not to mention they have to face a mechanical swarm and Chidori at the same time. For a moment, everyone couldn't help but feel worried. And at the moment, a sonic boom sounded from the distant horizon, followed by a dozen armors roaring towards them. That is the steel armor controlled by JARVIS. Captain America and others saw this scene and immediately said with joy. Great. Support is here. Dot. At the same time, the military defense line was a hundred meters away. While the Avengers Alliance and others are fighting. General Ross, who came from the military, also fell into huge amounts of trouble. The mechanical swarm that was thought to be vulnerable suddenly showed a terrifying side, shocking everyone present. Especially General Ross's arrogance. He doesn't bother to cooperate with S.H.I.E.L.D. at all, so he doesn't know what all this is going on. But the terror of the mechanical swarm is obvious to all. After watching the tall buildings collapse, and then looking at the overwhelming mechanical swarms at the moment, General Ross only felt shock and fear in his heart. Ding! General Ross's mood value is plus 666. What the hell is this? General Ross's face was full of horror. At the moment he saw the mechanical swarm swarming in, his expression suddenly changed, and he hurriedly retreated behind everyone. At the same time, he shouted at the men around him. Attack quickly. Attack quickly. We must not let them rush over. The surrounding soldiers received the order and suppressed the fear in their hearts to pull the trigger. The tanks nearby were also roaring with artillery fire. Da da da. Boom boom boom. The dense rain of artillery shells roared, and bullets continued in an endless stream, madly unleashing firepower on the mechanical swarm. For a while, swarms of mechanical bees kept falling from the sky. But more mechanical swarms followed one after another, breaking through the defense lines arranged by the military in the blink of an eye, and clinging to everyone and things like crazy. Suddenly, the soldiers and even the tanks were covered with dense mechanical swarms. Amidst the bursts of tragic screams, a devouring process began. The Tiger tank was devoured in a short time, and no trace of it was left. Even the soldiers of the military were killed in the self-destruction attack of the mechanical swarm without even screaming. Quote exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. For a moment, General Ross was horrified, with only horror in his eyes. He hurriedly ran into the military jeep. At the same time, he shouted at the soldiers around him. If you stop them and don't prepare to retreat, you will all be court-martialed. General Ross yelled as he got into the military jeep. As if he was crazy, he shouted at the frightened people in front of him. Drive. Drive quickly. Drive fast. The driver realized belatedly and quickly started the military jeep. The car sped directly into the distance. 
The soldiers who stayed behind clung tightly to the weapons in their hands, looking desperately at the overwhelming mechanical swarm attacking them. But as the mechanical swarm swept past, there was no grass growing in the place. The mechanical swarm finally shows its terrifying side. Ding. The system prompts constantly sound one after another. As the mechanical swarm began to fight back, like a locust plague coming across the world, Lin Fan gained more and more emotional points. At the moment in that cafe, Lin Fan slowly stood up. Today the surrounding high-rise buildings are crumbling. Watching Tony Stark disappear through the space door, Lin Fan shook his head as if sighing, but there was no guilt in his eyes. With a mortal body, he is as good as a god. This Tony is truly the Iron Man. Crazy. Lin Fan himself is very calm about the crisis he created himself. Not to mention that people will be punished by heaven and earth if they don't do it for themselves. Compared to the people indirectly saved by the mechanical swarm that destroyed the Chidori army, the people who died because of his plan are nothing to mention. Looking at it this way, the whole of New York is already grateful to him. Red Queen. Standing up slowly, Lin Fan spoke calmly. The next moment, there was a ripple in the space, and he disappeared directly from the spot. Then the building he was in collapsed and collapsed. Meanwhile, on the other side, General Ross, who fled in embarrassment, immediately returned to the nearest military base. And he also received a question from his superiors immediately. However, in order to shirk his responsibility for deserting before the battle, General Ross directly exaggerated the current situation by three points on the already severe situation. This also caused those upper-level figures to be directly frightened by the Chidori and the mechanical swarm. Civilizations from outer space make them feel threatened. If this crisis cannot be resolved, not only will their power be affected, but their own lives will also be in question. After an emergency meeting, a decision was made. General Ross, I grant you the authority to use nuclear bombs. Even if it means destroying the entire New York, we must eliminate all aliens. We must not allow the alien invasion to continue to expand. In the military base, General Ross breathed a sigh of relief. But then there was a deep shock. Even with his unscrupulous character, he was shocked by the decisions of those at the top. You must know that nuclear bombs are the most powerful weapons at the disposal of mankind. Especially New York is a prosperous metropolis in the United States. The decision to use nuclear bombs in New York is like a country being invaded by little monsters, causing the whole country to sink to the bottom of the sea. Okay, sir. Shocked, General Ross made no rebuttal. He immediately started to take action. Using nuclear bombs to destroy aliens will certainly have very bad consequences, but it is also an opportunity. If done correctly, he can even be the savior of mankind. By then his career will be even higher. General Ross couldn't help but feel excited when he thought of this possibility. He quickly completed all preparations for launching the nuclear bomb. Call. Taking a deep breath, General Ross pressed the launch button hard. A 30 megaton nuclear bomb roared out. Those fools. How dare they. Shield headquarters, Nick Fury roared angrily. He was informed of the decision from above. But no matter what, he never expected that those idiots would use nuclear bombs when facing the threat posed by aliens. And it's a big guy with a weight of 30 million tons. This is even enough to destroy New York in an instant. In order to eliminate aliens, those fools ignored the lives of tens of millions of people, and their behavior was extremely evil. Especially at the moment, all the elite members of S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Avengers Alliance are in New York. By then everyone will die without a burial place. No. They must be stopped. Nick Fury forced himself to calm down and quickly made a decision. He immediately connected to the communication channel and said in a deep voice. Everyone, something big has happened. In the communication channel, no one responded to Nick Fury. Everyone's heart was heavy because of Tony Stark, and at the moment they were all fighting and too busy to take care of themselves. Phil Coulson, who is a good subordinate, responded. Director, what happened? There's a nuclear bomb. Nick Fury said shockingly. Just a few minutes ago, General Ross received orders from his superiors to launch a 3,000-ton nuclear bomb towards New York. What? As soon as this statement came out, everyone changed their colors in shock. At this moment, all S.H.I.E.L.D. members in the communication channel, 
including Avengers Alliance and others, including Phil Coulson, were shocked. Their reaction at the moment was the same as Nick Fury's. A 3,000-ton nuclear bomb. What is this concept? Thinking of the scene of destruction in New York, everyone felt great fear in their hearts. How can a mortal resist the aftermath of a world-destroying weapon? How so? Team Mie was the first to react and gritted his teeth and asked. Nick Fury, what the hell is going on? This is New York, are they all crazy? So you want us to be buried together? Bruce Banner's voice was hoarse as he returned to his original form. Faced with repeated questions, Nick Fury said to himself. I know you are anxious, but I am also very angry, but I can't stop those people's behavior. So what do you want us to do? Bruce Banner sneered and mocked. We are also aliens anyway, so why not take this opportunity to eliminate them all? Drive Banner, please calm down. Nick Fury said helplessly. I'm contacting you because I hope you can stop this. That nuclear bomb must not explode in New York. Stop the nuke. Hearing this, everyone was shocked again. What kind of international joke are you kidding? Nuclear bomb. Has it really reached this point? Thousands of miles away, the smile on Lin Fan's lips was intriguing. He also learned about the current situation in New York. Although he is thousands of miles away, through the Red Queen, he can learn about world affairs at the first time. Even the situation in outer space can be seen clearly by him. Right now, Tony Stark and Thor are all entering outer space. If they want to prevent the nuclear bomb from detonating, it is simply impossible with the strength of Captain America and others. And they may not have the courage to sacrifice themselves for others like Tony Stark. Definitely it would be possible if it was Captain America. Originally, he was too lazy to care about the nuclear bomb. Whether New York exploded or not, what did it have to do with him, Lin Fan? But the core hive of the mechanical swarm is in New York. He actually had no idea whether the mechanical hive could stop a nuclear bomb. After much deliberation, Lin Fan was unwilling to take risks. He still had to rely on the mechanical hive to promote this big drama, but he couldn't act halfway, and the actor collapsed halfway. Immediately, Lin Fan ordered to the empty side. Red Queen, I leave this matter to you. Buzz. There was a ripple in the space. The Red Queen did not appear, but she had already received Lin Fan's order. Dot. Same time, New York. After learning Nick Fury's thoughts, the communication channel fell into dead silence again. Let them stop a nuclear bomb from going off in New York. What kind of international joke are you kidding? That's a nuclear bomb. They are just a group of mortals who want to stop the nuclear bomb. Do they really think that they can just talk about it? If it was Thor, it would still be possible. But at the moment Thor was nowhere to be found. Even Tony Stark's life and death are unknown. When thinking about the current situation, everyone's mood completely sank to the bottom, feeling that there was no hope for this battle. Even if they didn't die at the hands of the Chidori and the Mechanical Swarm. They will also die in the aftermath of the nuclear bomb explosion. If that's the case, what's the point of this battle? Let me do it. Suddenly, Captain America made a surprising statement. He said with determination. I know the military has a war machine. Tony gave it to you. Leave it to me. I will send the nuclear bomb out of outer space with my own hands. Quote exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. As soon as these words came out, everyone was shocked. Including Nick Fury from as far away as S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters. Everyone suddenly felt incredulous when they heard that Captain America was going to send a nuclear bomb into the space gate on his own. But they had to admit that this was the best option at the moment. If it can be realized, the crisis of New York's destruction will be easily solved. But the same thing. Captain America, who took away the nuclear bomb, is in danger alone, and may end up. Team leader. Someone wants to say something. But as soon as the words came out, I didn't know what to say, and in the end there was only deep silence. The captain of the United States is respected by everyone. Seventy years ago. In order to prevent the explosion of nuclear bombs, Captain America resolutely drove a fighter jet into the ice ocean. And now, 70 years later, it seems like a world away. Facing the crisis of a nuclear bomb explosion again, Captain America stood up resolutely again and chose to sacrifice himself to save everyone. At the moment, whether it is the Avengers Alliance or the members of S.H.I.E.L.D. 
Everyone was shocked by Captain America's behavior. Have you decided yet? Nick Fury asked in a hoarse voice. Although he really doesn't want Captain America to take risks, he has to admit that this is the best choice at the moment. Once successful, the threat of nuclear bombs will no longer exist. But the price was to sacrifice Captain America again. Act quickly. We don't have much time left. Captain America said calmly. He didn't say any comforting words, he just fought silently, holding the vibranium shield's hand harder and harder. Even if he is not a descendant of God with God bloodline like Thor. But at the moment facing aliens and even mechanical swarms, Captain America never flinched from beginning to end. Even knowing that there will be no life after 10 deaths, he still remains unchanged despite the collapse of Mount Tai. Captain, thank you. Bruce Banner said gratefully. Perhaps out of incompetence and rage, after finishing speaking, Bruce Banner transformed into Hulk again. This time his size became even larger and more ferocious. Those mechanical swarms in front of him were like vulnerable ants, and they were easily destroyed by his three punches and two kicks. It's a pity that in the face of the absolute numerical gap, Hulk's anger is not worth mentioning. And at the same time, on the other side, Nick Fury also immediately started contacting Colonel Rhodes. Colonel Rhodes also learned about the situation in New York, but when he heard Nick Fury talk about Captain America's decision, Colonel Rhodes was also shocked. But he didn't have any hesitation and drove the suit directly to New York. Captain, let me do it. Colonel Rhodes looked at the man in front of him with a complicated expression. He was also a fan of the other party. Now he finally got to meet the real person. Before he could get an autograph, he had to watch his idol go into danger alone. If possible, he really wanted to do it for the other party. Do you think you can do it? Captain America asked with a smile. Colonel Rhodes was speechless and took the initiative to remove his armor. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Captain America patted Colonel Rhodes on the shoulder. Then he walked directly into the armor. The armor reassembled again, and Captain America controlled the armor to rise into the air and run straight towards the location of the nuclear bomb. At the same time, in outer space. Quote exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. Looking at the space fleet in the distance, Tony Stark's pupils contracted. He couldn't believe what he saw. Including himself, his knowledge of aliens was limited to movies and science fiction novels, and he never thought that he would see aliens one day. And now Chitori suddenly appears, even coming as an intruder. Everyone was deeply shocked by Chitori's power. But compared to the sky fleet in front of him, Tony Stark finally understood that the Chitori army that had descended on New York was just the tip of the iceberg. These battleships are like space fortresses, each at least a kilometer long. It is even equipped with many advanced weapon systems. A steady stream of Chitori soldiers surged out of the battleship, heading toward the space gate on flight skateboards. Seeing this scene, Tony Stark was extremely shocked. Is this Chitori's true strength? Tony Stark said in disbelief. It wasn't until at the moment that he realized that if the space gate wasn't too small, all these space battleships in front of him could land on the Earth. The consequences will be unimaginable. And while he was stunned, the Chitori army also discovered his existence. Suddenly a group of soldiers rushed towards him. Not good. Tony Stark was shocked and quickly tried to control the armor to dodge. But then he just stood there dumbfounded. Because he belatedly discovered that although the armor was very powerful, there was no gravity at all in outer space. For a moment, Tony Stark's heart sank, feeling that he might be dead. All kinds of thoughts could not help but come to his mind. The last beautiful figure slowly emerged. Pepper. Tony Stark whispered. At the moment, there are wolves in front of him and tigers in the back. Faced with the front and rear attacks of the Chidori army and the mechanical swarm, he has no way to escape without the ability to move. In this near-dead situation, all he can do is wait for death. Boom boom boom. But at the moment, a burst of thunder sounded. Then a joking voice sounded. Hey, Iron Man. Is this despair? Sure enough, mortals are so weak and pitiful. Quote exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. Tony Stark was shocked when he heard this. He was not angry at being ridiculed. Or even quite the opposite. When he heard the identity of the owner of this voice, he couldn't help but feel ecstatic. That was the blessing of the rest of his life. 
Thor rushed out of the space door and was in front of Tony Stark in an instant. He casually used Mjolnir to clear out the surrounding mechanical swarms. Looking at Tony Stark who couldn't move, he jokingly said. Iron Armored Man, do you need help? Want. Tony Stark was silent for a moment, choosing to surrender to reality. At this time, life is more important than face. Ha ha ha. Thor laughed triumphantly, thunder surging around him. He grabbed Tony Stark's armor with one hand. The armor weighing thousands of kilograms seemed to have no weight in front of Thor, and it was directly dragged through outer space. And Tony Stark also witnessed Thor killing everyone at close range. Whether it's a mechanical swarm or an army of Chitori. Anyone who comes close to Thor will be blown to pieces by Mjolnir. Even the armor on his body quickly regained all its energy. Thor brand power bank, whoever uses it will decide. This guy is really a slut. When this thing is over, I have to research an anti-Thor armor. Tony Stark had nothing to do. Stark kept muttering in his mind. He was deeply aware of his own weakness and powerlessness. Chitori army. Mechanical swarm. Asgard Protoss. With the emergence of aliens one after another, the existing technology on the earth seems as ridiculous as a slum. Even if he is as confident as him, the armor he develops still has many hidden dangers. But he didn't feel the slightest bit decadent because of this. On the contrary, in the face of such great pressure, Tony Stark was full of motivation and had already begun to conceive of a new direction for the transformation of the armor. By the time he came to his senses, Thor was already going crazy in outer space. Seeing this, Tony Stark quickly reminded. Don't forget our purpose, Thor. Those battleships are no joke. Hurry up and lure these mechanical swarms over. Tony Stark emphasized. Snort. Thor snorted disdainfully and said arrogantly. They're just little bugs, and I haven't forgotten our plan. Just watch. Tony Stark rolled his eyes. But seeing Thor changing direction and flying towards the Chitori battleship with Mjolnir behind him, he couldn't help but feel worried. These armors look very powerful, and their weapon systems are certainly extraordinary. What if they were shot like that? Thor, be careful. Tony Stark couldn't help but remind him. I know. Thor shouted dissatisfied. But when he looked at those battleships, he became slightly more vigilant and shuttled among the Chitori troops. Behind him, tens of thousands of mechanical swarms swarmed. Soon the armies of both sides were the first to engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Then a shocking scene happened. Ding. Hiss. Oh my god. These bugs. Looking at the scene in front of him, Tony Stark felt stupid. He didn't expect the mechanical swarm to be so terrifying. The mechanical swarms he attracted collided directly with the Chidori army, followed by constant explosions. The mechanical swarm exploded wildly, directly wiping out the surrounding Chitori army. But this is not the end. After the mechanical swarm exploded, the fragments adhered directly to the bodies of the Chitori soldiers. Immediately afterwards, a new phagocytosis and proliferation began. For the mechanical swarm, death is not the end, on the contrary, it is just the beginning. In an instant, a new mechanical swarm was born from the corpse. The number of mechanical bee swarms is even increasing instead of decreasing. The numerical superiority of the Chitori soldiers even seemed ridiculous at the moment, because they only encouraged the expansion of the mechanical swarm. Ding, Tony Stark's emotional value plus 2333. Tony Stark was beyond shocked. At the same time, he was extremely happy. If it hadn't been for his sudden idea to lure most of the mechanical swarms here, the end of New York would have been disastrous. But what Tony Stark doesn't know is that a nuclear bomb is about to land in New York. Be careful. At the moment, Thor's voice suddenly sounded. Tony Stark suddenly came to his senses. At the moment they were close to the Chitori battleship. If something unexpected happened, what was waiting for the two of them would be a blow from the battleship. So he didn't dare to be distracted and quickly scanned the whole place with the help of JARVIS. He would alert Thor immediately if there was a problem. With the tacit cooperation between the two, they quickly approached the battleship and attracted at least tens of thousands of mechanical swarms. Change direction. Let's hide under the battleship. Tony Stark quickly reminded. Because at the moment he discovered that the battleship in front suddenly moved, slowly revealing a ferocious muzzle. Apparently Chitori was also aware of their arrival. Thor didn't respond. 
But he didn't move slowly, he directly swung the hammer to change the direction, and roared out under the driving force of the hammer. In the blink of an eye, he disappeared into the battleship's weapon system lock. Thor took Tony Stark and hid under the battleship. The two of them hid there quietly, secretly observing the situation outside, nervously looking forward to the collision between the Mechanical Swarm and the Chidori battleship. They both hope the Chidori can destroy the Mechanical Swarm. But at the same time, he hopes that the Mechanical Swarm can prevent the Chidori from invading the Earth. It's definitely best if the two die together. It's a pity that things went counterproductive. After losing its target, Chitori's battleship quickly aimed its guns at the Mechanical Swarm. They learned about the ability of the Mechanical Swarm to devour them like crazy. At the moment when the Mechanical Swarm was seen attacking, the commander on the fleet immediately gave an order, and the battleships all released a powerful carpet strike. The energy cannon swept across with a roar, carrying a terrifying power that destroyed everything. The locked mechanical swarm was directly wiped out. The debris scattered all over the sky like falling snow, but instead stuck to the Chitori soldiers. Even the Chitori's battleship. Immediately afterwards, there was no doubt that the mechanical swarm began to devour and proliferate again. And this time it's not a small fight like before. The most it had swallowed before was the Leviathan beast. Although it was very large, it was only a few hundred meters long. But Chitori's space battleship is thousands of meters long. It's like a space fortress. Tony Stark was stunned when he noticed this situation. Thor, it seems we have made a mistake. He swallowed as he said this. Chitori's battleship is so huge. If it is swallowed up, how many mechanical swarms will there be? Tony Stark shuddered when he thought of the overwhelming scene of the mechanical swarm. Even Thor couldn't help but grimace. These bugs. What a nuisance. Thor cursed angrily in displeasure. At the moment, he was also very annoyed and couldn't figure out where these bugs came from and how they could have such disgusting abilities. He would rather face the giants of Jochenheim than fight the mechanical swarm again. Let's get out of here first. Tony Stark reminded in a deep voice. Once the mechanical swarm is devoured and proliferated, the number will definitely become even more terrifying. If they stay here, they are likely to suffer disaster. Moreover, the original goal has been achieved, and they should return immediately to support Captain America and others who are still in New York. Good. Thor responded, and his figure suddenly flew away into the distance. But at the moment no one cares about them at all. Chitori has too much time to take care of himself, even those battleships are busy destroying the Mechanical Swarm. The Mechanical Swarm received instructions from Lin Fan. Nowadays, the Mechanical Swarm has given enough shock to the Avengers Alliance. Lin Fan's next target is Thanos. Ignoring the departure of Tony Stark and Thor, the Mechanical Swarm devoured it crazily and began its pathological value-added expansion again. And the huge space battleship was gradually swallowed up by the Mechanical Swarm. The new Mechanical Swarm was born during this process. Originally, hundreds of thousands were wiped out but in the blink of an eye they expanded to millions, occupying the entire starry sky with darkness. Ding, Thanos emotional value plus 1333. Buzz. As a containment object, the mechanical bee swarm's only ability is to devour metal and proliferate infinitely. This also makes the mechanical swarm almost immortal. Under Lin Fan's instruction, the mechanical swarm followed Tony Stark's guidance and entered outer space directly through the space gate. The seemingly powerful Chidori has actually become an excellent nutrient for the mechanical bee colony. Even Chidori's battleships were gradually swallowed up. The mechanical swarm has no other abilities. The most powerful ability is to swallow metal. Even star cores as powerful as Mjolnir can be swallowed. Even the more powerful the rare metal, the better the effect of devouring and multiplying it. In the blink of an eye, the mechanical swarm quickly expanded to 1 million. Keep devouring. Lin Fan, who saw all this remotely, gave the order. Immediately, millions of mechanical swarms flew out and rushed toward more warships around them. Lin Fan wants to use the mechanical swarm to wipe out the Chidori fleet in one fell swoop. I believe this will definitely give Thanos a little shock. And Lin Fan's purpose is also very simple. Without him. Just harvesting emotional value. From the system prompts, Lin Fan also saw the emotional value prompts from Thanos and others. 
Apparently Thanos is also paying attention to what's happening on Earth. But just think about it. For this invasion, Thanos invested a lot of manpower and material resources. He even gave Loki his psychic scepter to use. Since it is to test the situation on the Earth, Thanos naturally has to pay attention to the whole process and is even ready to take action against the Earth at any time. But in the end it turns out that the Earth is not as simple as it appears. This may also be the reason why Thanos did not take action. It wasn't until multiple infinite gems were collected that Thanos came to Earth with an army of destruction, intending to snatch all the infinite gems in one fell swoop. The Mind Scepter and Space Cube are really desirable. Lin Fan's eyes flashed with a strange look. But my family knows their own affairs. Although he coveted these two infinite gems, he had no immediate plans to snatch them. After all, he is not strong enough to get involved in the infinite gems now. But that doesn't mean he's not interested in infinite gems. Wait for him to develop silently again, let the bullets fly for a while, and there will be bread and milk. Lin Fan expressed that he was determined to win. Dot. Meanwhile, outer space. The mechanical swarms were dispatched in large numbers, and millions of people were like a plague of locusts in the world, rushing straight towards the Chidori battleships. On the battleship, Chidori's commander also shouted back. An entire fleet immediately launched a carpet bombing. It's a pity that in the face of the nearly immortal mechanical swarm, death is not the end, but on the contrary, it is just a new beginning. The mechanical swarms rushed towards those warships like crazy, and they would devour them as soon as they got close. Not long after, a battleship was swallowed up again. The number of insect swarms has expanded to 1.5 million again. Under this morbid proliferation, Chitori's battleships were devoured one after another, and even the Chitori on the battleships were not spared. The two Thors who returned to Earth in the distance happened to see this scene. Suddenly, they all stood there in a daze. Ding, Thor's emotional value plus 2,333. Ding, Tony Stark's emotional value plus 2,333. Oh my god. This. Tony Stark's eyes widened. The moment they returned to the space gate didn't even last more than five minutes. But the mechanical swarm actually expanded to millions. The overwhelming mechanical swarm far exceeded Chitori's battleship, giving them a huge shock and they once again realize the truly terrifying side of the mechanical swarm. This is definitely an unprecedented threat. Quick. Go back quickly. We must stop the expansion of the bugs as soon as possible. Tony Stark urged anxiously. He thought about the bugs on Earth. If it cannot be curbed, what is happening in outer space today is likely to be the fate of the Earth. By then, humans living on the Earth will also be affected. This is absolutely unacceptable to him. Good. Thor nodded heavily and immediately prepared to pass through the space gate. But at the moment, something unexpected happened. From the space door that exuded a strange light, a figure suddenly squeezed out, holding a ferocious nuclear bomb in its raised hands. As a master of weapons development, Tony Stark could tell at a glance that it was a nuclear bomb. War machine. Tony Stark shouted in disbelief. Rogue, why are you here? What happened to this nuclear bomb? Tony, I'm Steve. But as Tony Stark finished speaking, the voice coming from inside the armor was not Colonel Rhodes. When hearing the familiar voice, Tony Stark was surprised and said. Captain. Why is it you? It's too late to explain. Captain America did not explain, but said solemnly. It's great to see that you are okay. You should go back quickly and leave the rest to me. As he spoke, Captain America was ready to throw the nuclear bomb into the distant starry sky. Even in order to prevent the aftermath of the nuclear bomb from passing through the space gate, he had already made plans to go deep into the enemy camp, sacrifice himself, and die directly with Chidori. But the next moment, everyone was stunned on the spot. Ding, Captain America's emotional value. Just when Captain America was determined to sacrifice himself. When he saw the scene in the starry sky in the distance, he was dumbfounded and couldn't believe what he saw. I saw Chitori's space fleet, at the moment it was already falling apart. More than a dozen battleships have been devoured by the mechanical swarm. Even the Chitori on the battleship were partially swallowed up by the mechanical swarm, and some were scattered into the stars. After losing oxygen, he died soon after and was frozen into an ice sculpture. 
For a moment, the entire starry sky seemed like a death purgatory. But in the boundless starry sky, millions of mechanical swarms are overwhelming, and the terrifying scene is light black clouds threatening to destroy the city. The only remaining Chitori mothership fled like crazy towards the depths of the starry sky. Millions of mechanical swarms follow closely behind, fighting to the death. There are also some mechanical swarms that change direction. And the direction they were heading to was exactly the space gate where Captain America and others were, obviously to return to the Earth. Quote exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. When Captain America saw this scene, he felt his heart pounding. He didn't even know whether to be happy or desperate. The enemies who invaded the Earth were eliminated, but why couldn't he be happy at all? Ding, Captain America's emotional value is plus 2,333. Hiss. Oh my god. This. Captain America looked at the scene in disbelief. Tony Stark and Thor turned around, deeply shocked by the horror of the Doomsday Bug Plague, their expressions full of solemnity and horror. But the two of them were prepared and quickly recovered from the shock. Captain, throw away the nuclear bomb first. Tony Stark said speechlessly. Let's not talk about where the nuclear bomb came from. But just holding a nuclear bomb like this, if it exploded, wouldn't the three of them be dead? Can't throw it away. Captain America came back to his senses and said decisively. The power of nuclear bombs is too terrifying. Once it affects reality, the entire New York will be under threat. So you want to reenact the scene of heroic sacrifice? Tony Stark complained angrily. Get rid of it, this is the starry sky of the universe, how many light years away from the Earth? And you think. As he spoke, he pointed to the mechanical swarm in the distance and said. Is there a greater threat than nuclear bombs? Captain America was speechless. But thinking about the horror of nuclear bombs, he still said in a deep voice. Then I will use nuclear bombs to bury them here completely. This is the only thing I can do at the moment. What are you trying to do? Tony Stark rolled his eyes. Not bothering to pay attention to Captain America anymore, he said directly to War Machine. J-A-R-V-I-S, remove the captain's right to control the suit. Okay, sir. The mechanical sound of J-A-R-V-I-S came from the war machine. Captain America's eyes widened when he heard this voice. He didn't expect Tony Stark to be so sinister. Tony Stark actually had a back door in war machine. No wonder the other party is so generous. But before Captain America could say anything, the armor on his body immediately lifted itself. Then Tony Stark grabbed the armor and swung it. Suddenly, the war weapon rushed straight towards the mechanical swarm in the distance with a nuclear bomb held high, like an indomitable Spartan warrior. Why are you standing there? Run. After doing this, Tony Stark turned his head and urged Captain America and the two of them. Thor and Captain America came to their senses belatedly. The three of them did not dare to hesitate, and immediately got into the space door and left the starry sky without looking back. The power of a nuclear bomb explosion is absolutely terrifying and even devastating. Don't call them superheroes. I'm afraid even Thor, who is known as Thor, can't withstand a nuclear bomb. They don't want to compare with the power of nuclear bombs with their mortal bodies. And the moment they left, the nuclear bomb was directly surrounded by countless mechanical swarms, including tool man war weapons holding the nuclear bomb high. Tony Stark looked back subconsciously the moment before the three of them left. Suddenly, they all froze on the spot. Especially Tony Stark, whose eyes were as white as bells, as if he had seen something unbelievable. I saw the war weapons in the distance being directly swallowed by the mechanical swarm. The nuclear bomb held high in his hand was also surrounded by a swarm of mechanical swarms and then devoured. The explosion they expected did not occur. What is even more shocking is that the nuclear bomb was swallowed by a mechanical swarm. This scene immediately made Tony Stark feel horrified. This is simply outrageous. Ding, Tony Stark's emotional value plus 2,333. The gift crab. It can even swallow nuclear bombs. Are these insects invincible? Tony Stark started yelling. When Captain America and Thor heard this, they also realized the seriousness of the problem, and their expressions were so ugly that they could shed tears. The terror of the mechanical swarm once again refreshed their understanding. Thor's heart was heavy, and he knew that now he might really have no choice but to ask his father for help. 
Otherwise, Midgard will never be able to stop the ravages of the mechanical swarm. Ding! Captain America's emotional value is plus 2,333. Ding! Thor's emotional value plus 2,333. At the same time, far away in the depths of the endless starry sky. With the emergence of mechanical swarms, Chitori's battleships were swallowed up like locusts crossing the border. The hundreds of thousands of Chitori on it were naturally killed on the spot. As remote communication was forced to shut down, Thanos and others who were watching the battle remotely were speechless. The five obsidian generals all widened their eyes. Oh my god. What the hell are those, bugs? Ding, the emotional value of the five obsidian generals. As the top generals under Thanos, the five obsidian generals are so powerful that they can even destroy a race by themselves. When Chidori was conquered, it was Corvus Glaive who conquered it himself. Countless souls have died at the hands of Corvus Glaive. But at the moment, facing a mechanical swarm that can proliferate infinitely and even become almost immortal, even with the cruelty of Corvus Glaive's heart, he can't help but feel shocked for a while. If he faced such a terrifying enemy, could he still kill everyone like before? The other five generals of Obsidian also had the same idea. Sir, Chitori is destroyed. Your plan to test Midgard cannot be accomplished. With Loki's power alone, I'm afraid. Ebony Ma said cautiously and asked tentatively. What do you think should be done next? Corvus Glaive and others all looked at Thanos. At the moment in the top position, Thanos sat there with a sullen expression, and others could not tell what he was thinking. Even Ebony Ma, who is good at playing with people's hearts, is like this. Who said the plan can't be accomplished? After a period of silence, Thanos suddenly smiled. This immediately confused everyone. Ebony Ma rolled his eyes, as if he had guessed something, and humbly complimented. Ah, yes, yes, what the Lord said is absolutely true. He he. Thanos chuckled unintelligibly. But with a wave of his hand, invisible ripples suddenly appeared in the void, and a curtain of light quietly appeared out of thin air. What is displayed above the light curtain is exactly the situation on the earth. Black swarms of mechanical bees fill the entire screen. This is. The five generals of Obsidian were all stunned when they saw this. But when they saw that the owner of this perspective was Loki, they understood instantly. It turns out that their master had already left a backup plan on Loki. At the moment, even without Chitori, they can still use Loki to see everything happening on Earth. Even if the time is right, they have no doubt that Thanos can directly come to Earth. For a time, several people became more and more respected for the depth of Thanos' methods. Especially Ebony Ma, who acted as the resource person, guessed Thanos' thoughts, but did not openly reveal his cleverness. Chitori was originally a group of cannon fodder, and they died as soon as they died. But who says that without Chitori, we can't test Midgard's current situation? Wouldn't a mechanical swarm be more appropriate? Looking at the overwhelming mechanical swarm in the picture, Ebony Ma's eyes flashed with strange colors. What kind of terrible race is this? Thanos, who is at the top, has the same idea. As the director of the Women's Federation dedicated to maintaining the sustainable development of the universe's population, he has personally destroyed countless races, and the number of creatures that died in his hands is enough to pile up mountains. But in all these years, he has never seen anything like a mechanical bee swarm. This is a terrifying group born for destruction. If it is not contained, the entire universe, let alone Midgard, may cease to exist. Ding! Thanos' emotional value plus 1,333. Definitely in Thanos' view, the mechanical swarm is not without its weaknesses. At least in front of the true strongest, such as Thanos, no race is immortal. Now he was thinking about what he could get out of it. If such a population with strange abilities can be exploited, it may be able to accelerate his goal of controlling the population of the universe. But compared to the risks involved, the mechanical swarm was not worth his initiative. Because what he lacks most is cannon fodder like Chidori. While thinking to himself, Thanos thought of Asgard. He knows many secrets of the universe. For example, the reality gem in Infinite Gems, and even the space gem, are likely to fall into the hands of the god King Odin. If he could, he definitely wanted to get the infinite gems. But obviously now is not the time to take action against Asgard. And the seemingly ordinary but extraordinary Midgard. 
It seems that we have to speed up the collection of infinite gems. I am bound to get the power stone. Thinking of the recent gossip in the universe, Thanos's eyes flashed. At the same time, far away in New York, Earth. On the opposite side of the real world, there is a world where up, down, left, and right are completely reversed. And at the moment there was a man wearing a yellow robe standing here. She looked at the real world through the void, focusing on the overwhelming mechanical swarm, and murmured to herself in an inaudible voice. Thanos' plan failed. How do you plan to end this drama? Ding, Ancient One Magician's Emotional Value. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.